In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your VoiceFlow project to WhatsApp without using ManyChat or Twilio. Simply connect your VoiceFlow project and your WhatsApp account and it will be done. If you want to get access to 10 plus chatbot and automation templates, you can go ahead and sign up to my free resource hub. And if you're a business owner and you want to get a custom system built for your business, you can go ahead and book a call with me through my Calendly link and we can discuss how AI can be integrated in your business or if you have a project in mind, I can discuss how we can build that as well. So to get right into it, what you have to do is create a Facebook account, obviously. So once you've created your Facebook account, you need to go over to the Meta Business Suite. Once you're in the Meta Business Suite, it's going to look like this. And essentially, you need to create a Meta Business Account. So on that Facebook account, we're creating a Meta Business Account. Now that you've created your Meta Business Account on your Facebook account, we do need to go over to the Meta for Developers. So that's developers.facebook.com. Once we're on this page, we need to create an application. So once we've landed here, we need to hit create an app. Once we've clicked create an app, we need to go to the other button. Once we've clicked other, we need to go and select business. This will give us access to that WhatsApp API. Once we've hit that, we do need to create an, an application name. So we can call this whatever we want. Uh, voice flow test. Um, you want to add your email and you want to go and add your business account. So that account we just created, we want to add that into this as well. Once you've done that, just hit create app. You do need to uh, enter your password. So just enter your password. Um, once you've done that, it's going to load and it will create that application for you. So now, once you've landed on this page here, you do need to scroll down to the WhatsApp, uh, integrate with WhatsApp button and just hit setup. This is going to give us access to the API keys for WhatsApp that we're going to use later. So once you're on this page, you do want to go back just to the meta for developers. Just click the logo in the top here and we just want to go back to my apps. So what we're going to do now is generate our uh, API key that's going to give us access to this application. So we just need to click on our business. And once you've landed on this page, you want to go over to system users. What we're doing is just generating a token that we're going to use to connect to VoiceFlow. And so what we need to do is create an admin user. So just hit add, uh, put in a username, give them admin. The next screen, it will allow you to uh, click all all admin access. So just click on the uh, big toggle button and enable all the options. I can't do it here because I've already created one. You can only create one uh, per account, I believe. So just create that uh, person. Once you've done that, you want to click generate new token. Um, and so once you've hit generate new token, it will just generate a token and give it to you. I've already done that once again. So just once it pops up, copy that code and make sure to save it. You also want to click on assign uh, assets here. You want to assign the project that we just created earlier so that our voice flow projects so if you click apps here you can see voice flow test click this and give it the full permissions so we can hit save changes if you'd like there and we can see we've added that application and also i forgot to mention you have to hit generate new token select an app flow ridge or whatever your app's called uh, make sure it doesn't expire and just select business management whatsapp business management whatsapp business management um, and then just hit generate token so you can see here, I've already added WhatsApp. So I've just hit set up. I've just followed what it wanted me to do. And I've just, it's very easy to just add it right in. Once you've got that going, just hit settings. Once this is loaded, you want to go to the webhooks button here. Now, once you've set up that, we're going to go over to an application called Flow Bridge. So this is going to be how we're able to connect our VoiceFlow project with our WhatsApp uh, API details. And we're going to be able to connect the two together to seamlessly uh, connect VoiceFlow to WhatsApp. This is a lot different than just connecting the VoiceFlow knowledge base. This is also connecting the buttons, images, and a whole host of features that VoiceFlow has, and we're integrating that into WhatsApp. So rather than connecting this to ManyChat and just having chatting back and forth with that knowledge base, we're obviously being able to now pull through the buttons, the images, and a whole heap of features that VoiceFlow has. So now it's a lot more powerful than WhatsApp Assistant. So to get access to FlowBridge, you can go to my link in the description, which is going to give you a 14-day free trial to FlowBridge. To get started, go over to client companies. I'm going to create a brand new client company. Uh, you can do this by clicking new client company. This is just simply for the organizational purposes, uh, obviously understanding which client this project is assigned to. So I'll just give this one voice flow test and hit create. Once that's created, we're going to move over to the voice flow side of things. So we can essentially just go straight to voice flow projects. We're then going to essentially click new voice flow project and we're going to assign the voice flow details of our uh, project to the new client we've just created. So if I can go to client, voice flow test, 
And now we need the series of data from VoiceFlow. So this is the VoiceFlow project that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. It's a very basic setup. It just allows us to use a response AI, uh, just using GPT three and a half. We're going to be able to also have images show up on the bot. So I'll demonstrate that as well. Um, and all these buttons, of course, as well. So if they want to click show me a dog, it's going to click a button, show an image, have more buttons come up. So I'm going to show you all of this in the application. The first thing we need is the VoiceFlow project name. It doesn't have to be the same as our actual VoiceFlow project. It's just for our sort of convenience. So I'm just putting VoiceFlow test once again. We need to get the project ID. So we're just going to go into this number right here. Make sure to add that into the right box. So project ID, project ID. We need to get the VoiceFlow API token. So we just need to go to the dialog API box and hit copy API key. Post that into here. And now that's done. So essentially we can hit create. Once you hit create, you're going to see here, it's going to populate the voice flow projects. And now we can move over to the client integrations In the client integrations tab. This is where we're going to connect our WhatsApp project to our voice flow project to hit new client integration. We're going to click on the client that we've just set up and we're going to click on the voice flow test project that we just set up as well. So just hit next, give it a name. Once again, this is just for the purpose of knowing what it is, the slide will generate. Hit next once again, this is gonna select channel. They've only got WhatsApp at the moment, but I do believe they are going to release a Facebook and Instagram uh, channels in the future. Once we've selected WhatsApp, it's gonna give us a webhook verification token. And then what we need to do is get our WhatsApp access token. So that WhatsApp access token is what we created earlier. Now, once you hit create, you're gonna get this page here. You wanna hit integration info in the top right. We're going to take this WhatsApp webhook URL. We're going to go back to our meta for developers and we're just going here, call back URL. Uh, we'll just hit edit and we're just going to paste that URL here. Um, you can see I've already pasted in the verification token and so that's just the verification token that was generated here. So once you've done that, just hit verify and save. Just make sure that that's all valid. Uh, you can see here it's valid. Once you set these two values up, you want to hit the manage button. You just want to go ahead and enable messages. So just click the little uh, checkbox there and that's done. Now that is it. It is completely done. Just send a message to this number on WhatsApp or the custom number you've set. And it is going to be able to answer your questions using the VoiceFlow project that you connected. And you can see here, it is now working with my VoiceFlow project. So I'm able to ask questions, click buttons, and also see images. And this was all in just a few small steps. I hope that was a helpful video in being able to integrate your voice flow projects directly to WhatsApp very easily. If you did want to get access to Flowbridge and a 14 day free trial, just use my link in the description. If you want to get access to 10 plus chatbot and automation templates, you can go ahead and sign up to my free resource hub. That's also in the description as well. And if you're a business owner and you want to get a custom system built for your business, you can go ahead and book a call with me through my Calendly link and we can discuss how AI can be integrated in your business. Or if you have a project in mind, I can discuss how we can build that as well.